Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 50 to 60 minutes discussing one of the options we feel should be part of your portfolio if you are actively marketing Medicare product in North Texas. And so we've invited our friends with Karen Care, specifically our old friend, Steve Plojek, not old in age, old in duration, uh, to come on and help us with some of the details about this program because we feel it can be a very important part of your portfolio moving forward, even in the infamous OEP and lock-in periods. And we'll discuss just how that works in just a moment. Today's presentation is being recorded and you will have access to that through our links on our, web, on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well. The folks who have expressed an interest in today's webinar will be receiving a follow-up email from us with much of the detail that we speak to in today's presentation, in addition to a PDF of the presentation as well. So let's start with a little bit of level set about Premier Marketing and who we are. We're a national marketing organization founded in 1968 that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We have offices across the country. We're licensed on our in all 50 states. We act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents and agencies such as yourselves. And we do so through a contract that's at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. We do so through a full portfolio of products that include the base Medicare products of Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and Part D prescription drug plans, referred to as PDP programs. And we will discuss at length an option under Medicare Advantage today. We also have a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity, annuity products, including final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, but also an assortment of long and short-term care programs and disability income plans, and the ancillary benefits such as dental vision, hearing, critical illness and cancer plans, hospital indemnity, accident and telehealth programs to help address specific needs of your clients that aren't covered in their base coverages. Our Medicare Advantage portfolio has the national carriers and many of the strong regional carriers for you through our organization. And that same philosophy carries over into the prescription drug arena where many of these programs are part of the contract that you have for the Medicare Advantage plans anyway. But we want to make you aware of that because there are a couple of notable exceptions, uh, specifically Mutual of Omaha, only with the PDP program, and Clever RX is actually a discount program and not a formal prescription drug plan. In the Medicare supplement arena, we have a full portfolio of products as well and initiatives that help you be successful in this space as well. It's important for us to look at this because one of the pro plans we'll discuss today, you might see as a almost a Medicare supplement lookalike in a manner of speaking. And Steve's gonna discuss and uh, illuminate us on that program as well. In the ancillary product arena, in each of those categories, we have the national leaders for you. These act not only to cover that need that may not be fully addressed by your underlying health programs, but also give you an additional means to market and an additional revenue stream for you and your agency. When we look at that Medicare market overall, we look at a burgeoning market where you come on a, a presentation like today and hear about the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day, all well and good, but we're finding that many folks, or at least a substantial percentage that we hadn't anticipated in the past, that may not be accessing full Medicare benefits when they're first eligible for them, for one reason or another. They may be continuing to work and have benefits at work. They may defer for another reason, because they have to work longer and are looking to coincide their Medicare benefits with drawing Social Security or benefits from the Railroad Retirement Board. But for whatever reason, there is a portion of the population that aren't fully accessing their Medicare benefits at the age of 65. However, we find that at least 15% of the Medicare population are under the age of 65 and accessing their benefits through disability. This group can be a very viable option or a very viable niche for us to pursue for Medicare Advantage products specifically and for care and care, especially in North Texas. 
The Medicare population has some common factors. Two thirds of the people on Medicare have three plus chronic conditions. So we want plans that can address that as fully as possible. And they have challenges with income and savings as well. And so we wanna make certain that we're able to budget the programs that we offer them because they have choices. They don't even have to take the optional part B should they choose to decline it. Thankfully, most don't, but there are some that will then self-insure insure for what Medicare doesn't cover, take up a standalone Part D plan to help with those prescription drug costs, but some will take out a standardized, modernized Medicare supplement plan and add in the Part D to make certain they have drug coverage, <clears throat> excuse me, and then some will take out the bundled products, the Medicare Advantage Part C program, all in one as you hear on commercials on TV incessantly. And that's one of the options that we're going to discuss in specifics today. What we've seen in the past when folks, folks first access their Medicare benefits is a near even split between Medicare Advantage and MedSup plans. The pandemic over the last couple of years, according to some detail that we've gotten from some of our friends uh, <clears throat> that do that sort of thing, compound, uh, compile the, the uh, demographics for us, is we see an increase in the number of folks that are accessing Medicare Advantage plans. Maybe it's because of the advertisements on commercials. Maybe it's because the folks that are aging in are more comfortable with network-based programs that carry a full benefit package. For whatever reason, we're seeing some changes on how they are accessing and choosing their programs as they come into Medicare. So we've got to be prepared to help explain these programs to them and one of the things that you'll see as part of the follow-up is a link to a guide provided to us by the Medicare Learning Network, a government website that gives you an explanation of these acronyms. I've been in this business longer than I care to admit, and there's always something that pops up and we go, what do they mean by that? Well, if it's M-O-U-S-E, we know it's a Disney term, but if it's S-E-P, O-E-P, whatever the P's may be involved, we want to make certain that we are translating that information and reminding ourselves that doing, during our presentations, we limit the use of acronyms to properly communicate with our audience. We have, of course, different pieces of oversight and demands placed upon us by the government when it comes to when we can do what with whom. And we are, of course, right now in that OEP period that we really can't publicize, but we see a ton of special election periods that the majority of people on Medicare are eligible for. Look at this patch. And what we see when we discuss programs with care and care specifically, we're going to look at certain things that are some of the most common SEPs that you'll find. And this includes the folks that are aging into Medicare, even though I kind of beat that topic up there just for a moment, but there may also be the folks that are moving into the area or changing service areas. And that's a viable SEP that we can use to help them. One of the things that we want to emphasize, however, is the use of the extra help program. Not necessarily Medicaid and Medicare savings programs, but that LIS, extra help program, that helps them with the cost of medications, which override then the plan's co-payments for those drugs, so they're at least at the LIS level but it creates that special election period that we can use quarterly for the first three quarters of the year and then walk into that annual election period and help folks in that area as well. You'll see, obviously, there's a number of SEPs. The majority of people on Medicare will qualify for one of them, in my opinion. The question is, is it the right thing for us to do? Now, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy working with Steve so much is because it's a philosophy has always been do what's best for your client, no matter whom that client may happen to be. Having sat across the aisle from him for a number of years, many, many years ago, I remember I'm going to treat you like someone would treat, I would want someone to treat my parents. So that's that kind of philosophy that carries over into the administration of the care and care programs, which really makes it a valued pro a par partner for all of us because that's what we're looking to do, the best for our prospects and our clients. And keep in mind, there are always the special, special election periods, a couple of them active in Texas at this particular point, that deal with weather and other circumstances 
that we have to be aware of as well. So all that said and done with these SEPs, the special, special SEPs, there are a ton of people that qualify for a move should it be appropriate for them. And why do we worry about it? Well, Kaiser Family Foundation tells us that the majority of people, the vast majority of people on Medicare don't compare their plans annually as they should. And we all know what difficulty that can bring about, particularly in some of the areas of the particularly vulnerable that are most affected by some of those changes that we see in plans year and year, year over year. And this includes both PDP programs and MA programs, because what we find as some of the changes, and there are changes year over year, deal not only with deductibles or co-payments or whatever it happens to be, out-of-pocket expenditures in an MA plan, when you bundle in the prescription benefit or utilize a standalone drug program itself, you see movement in that formulary list, the list of drugs that are covered, and where they fall in the different tiers. So we want to make certain that we're able to reach out and help with these folks that aren't even using government websites to help them or government information to help them and make certain that we deliver the information they need in the manner in which they want to receive it. Many times that's still an in-person visit and as an essential industry, we can do that as long as we do it correctly and make certain that we're out to help people and not harm them. But we also need to be prepared to pivot to a virtual presentation or a virtual close and working with a partner that has the ability to do that or with an organization like ourselves that give you the opportunity to do that as well and collect all the information you need in order to do it compliantly. Well, we want to make certain those tools are there for you because, hey, the population is becoming much more digitally savvy, even the older parts of the Medicare demographic, but most certainly some of the folks that are aging in that have dealt with these systems year over year. Our doctors have trained us to do that. For over a year, we had virtual appointments and that was it for the most part. Same thing happens with specialists, hospitals, even some dentists are doing the work up front as well. And as a part of our overall definition of who we are, well, hey, faith-based organizations are still having services online. So the folks are much more comfortable in receiving this information. And we may need to make certain that we provide that to them in the manner that they best want it received. So that's one of the reasons why we've asked our friend, Steve Plojet, to come on and visit with us about the care and care programs and what they can offer for us as agents and for our prospects and clients moving forward. So Steve, if you're comfortable with this, I am going to switch control over to you. And you'll see on your screen eventually. Oh, maybe, there we go, your screen. And if you pull up that same presentation from where we are, we'll be able, you'll be able to control it and work your way through it. When you're completed your part of the presentation, I'll pull it back. Can you see it? And I think I've got you muted. I'm sorry. I know I muted myself. Can you see my oh, screen you now? Yep. We see your screen with the lovely light through the windows. There we go. And there we go. So I can't I can't, I can't thank you enough, John. Uh, I always look forward uh, to, to the opportunities to, to work with Premier you know, the Integrity family, and most certainly you, Mr. Dumas. What a, a great source, a uh, wealth of information experience that John basically brings to, to everyone that he touches, whether, you know, it's within the family, uh, you know, a partner such as Karen Care. Uh, we just are all blessed to have Mr. Dumas basically as, a, as that source of truth, that, that source uh, of great information, keeping us apprised of our volatile market. Uh, and I just really do thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today. So all in all, I want to go ahead and get started, talk a little bit here about Care and Care. One of the regional players, not a national, uh, I, I like to call it a, a little lizard, a little red lizard, not, not, not a dinosaur, nothing wrong with dinosaurs. Uh, but a local plan, a local plan here for this North Texas market, specifically in 13 markets, been around for about 13 years. Um, 
And I'll come back to this. The I have a couple of um, uh, highlighted counties that I'll that I'll touch back on those five counties here shortly. But I really want to push that local aspect. We're we're, we're locally owned. Uh, we we you know we have we have local customer service. We're working with local uh, you know, hospital groups uh, with UT Southwestern and, and, and THR Texas Health Resources. Um, we're all about this North Texas gap. Uh, we have great 254 counties in the wicked state of, uh, of Texas, right? But the 13 is really where the care and care focuses, uh, really this North Texas patch. And that's what we'll do today. But who's UT Southwestern? Who, who's, excuse me, who's Southwestern Health Resources? Um, you have two parents there. You have UT Southwestern and you have THR. These are two of the most dominant, basically, uh, hospital networks in the North Texas market by far. I want to be careful using superlatives and we're the best and, and, and those kind of things. But these are two very, very well-known uh, hospital networks, basically, in this North Texas market. And that basically, those folks are our parents. That's what makes up uh, the bulk of Southwestern Health Resources, which is the owning uh, organization of Care and Care Insurance Company. So a little bit of stats, basically, you know, regarding who these folks are. If you've been in this market for not a whole lot of time, you understand uh, what true players these two networks are. Uh, huge. Because at the end of the day, when we talk about HMOs, PPOs, Medicare Advantages, we know the number one objection we run into is, is my doctor on the plan? Does my doctor take this insurance? Well, bottom line is, this is that number one objective. Our objection that we run into as agents all the time. Uh, but that local support that I spoke of, uh, you know, we're here. We have that experience team. They're based uh, right here in, in Dallas, Fort Worth area. Uh, we've moved into a new office uh, over more on the Dallas side. Used to be based downtown Fort Worth. Uh, we're leaning into uh, northwest side of, of the downtown Dallas area, area called Farmers Branch. Uh, but we'll be opening that office hopefully very, very soon, depending on on our pandemic levels, but I got my fingers crossed. Basically, things are looking a lot better for our state, our country regarding that. So looking to get in the office here soon. But point is, hey, we're here local. We're here to basically help help our agents out there, help our members out there, whether it's find providers, assist them with any kind of you know claims, issues, bills, anything like that. Well, let's go ahead and hop into the plans. Uh, we basically have two HMO plans. Um, zero premium plans. I'd highlighted basically those five counties, mentioned Dallas, Dallas, Tarrant, Denton, Collin, uh, and Rockwall counties. Well, that's specifically that green plan over on your right hand side, that Southwestern Health Select plan. You see very, very aggressive benefits there. $2,900 actually is the, I'm pretty sure it's the number two uh, lowest maximum out of pocket within the DFW market. At $2,900. Uh, $10 copay on that specialist, huge, very, very aggressive in that scenario. So, super competitive. Uh, now, that plan specifically is leveraging, want to always verify our doctors, always got to verify those, those PCPs and those specialists. But at the end of the day, really leveraging that Southwestern Health Resource Network between THR and UT Southwestern. Can't say that every single doctor that's affiliated with those two parents uh, is part of that network but many are. It definitely is the foundation of what that plan is about. Um, but all in all, a little bit more information. Not going to go over every single one of these. As John stated at the top of the call, we're recording this. We also, I'll, I'll, well, I'll show it towards the end of the, the presentation also, but cnchealthplan.com, you can find all this information online, uh, broken out, you can print it, PDFs, what have you reach out to us basically, we'll help you get you know nice, pretty, hard, glossy, uh, if that's something you're interested in. But you can see between these two plans, what do we have? We have the basics in there. We have fitness, we have OTC. We certainly have embedded dental into our plans. I'll talk a little bit more about a dental rider that we have um, on all of our plans here shortly. Got a couple slides dedicated to that. We have the vision, we have hearing aid coverage, and our drugs. Um, we have based out of, out of our six plans, uh, five of them are true MAPD, Medicare Advantage, that's your medical, PD, Medicare Advantage, MAPD, Medicare Advantage prescription drugs. We have drugs on five of those plans. We have one of our PPO, which is an MA only plan, all right? But if you look at what our drugs are, 
if, if you look at our tiering, if you look at the way that we do business there, very, very aggressive in this situation, very aggressive. We have basically, you know, no preferred. There's no preferred um, pharmacy that we work with. Can't say that we work with all, but we work with, I would say, over 95% of all your independent pharmacies, third generation, maybe in an outlining county. Uh, good chances they're going to accept care and care in the rate compared to a national pharmacy. Same, same, same. And I want to also kind of highlight up here at the top of this slide, no deductibles. Deductibles basically is not part of care and care vocabulary, whether it's on a dental plan, whether it's on our drugs, whether it's on our medical. Deductibles, we, 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 we you know, the only reason I have it in my, my presentation is to say, hey, we don't have any deductibles. So again, one of those selling points that we have over there, because those are things that jump up on folks. They're, hey, well, I didn't know about this. Or you didn't tell me about that. The less of those kind of situations that we have, easier for you, easier for the member at the end of the day. So let's talk a little bit about some of these PPOs we have. Again, we have four PPO plans. We have a zero premium. We also have this $55. Again, we have the basic benefits in this scenario. We have the fitness, the OTC in these situations. We also have the drugs. I'm going to go and jump over to basically these two plans. That MA only over on the right-hand side. John touched on this, and I'll spend a little bit more time on this. I have a slide dedicated to this premium PPO plan. That's right, $200. Guys, I saw this benefit design maybe around 2016, northern part of the United States, and it really kind of threw me off. I'm like, what the heck, man? You know, we're used to selling zero premium plans down in Texas, right? Uh, and, and the rest of the central region, what's going on here? But what you got to notice here, this is not a D-SNP. This isn't a C-SNP. This is a regular Medicare Advantage plan. Look at this. Hospitalization, zero. What's the catch, man? That looks too good to be true. What's the catch? The catch is you have to stay within that UT Southwestern network. You stay within that network, it is zero. It is no charge for hospitalization. Right. Somebody came back to me and said, well, how in the heck are you going to hit a thirty five hundred dollar out of pocket max? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're not going to. But we have to put something in in that scenario. We could put five hundred dollars in there. The bottom line is, as long as you stay in the network, you aren't going to have any kind of copayments when it comes to medical or any of your Part B services. And that does not include Part B when we talk about drugs or it doesn't have anything to do with our value added benefits, maybe like you know, dental or vision, what those co-payments could possibly be, hearing aids, something like that, all right? One thing I did before I get, get going too much, uh, get ahead of myself, I wanted to also point out co-payments, co-payments basically around that MA only plan. Now, I don't have a buy down. A lot of times we look at our MA only plans, really try to focus kind of pointed or directed at a, at a lot of our veterans, right? But at the end of the day, I don't have a buy down. But I want you to look all the way across. Don't just look at one benefit. You need to look at the whole situation because the way that these plans work, we have X amount of dollars that we have to use. Medicare controls basically how much money any carrier can make, national, local, regional, what have you, right? But all in all, look at what that copayment is for hospitalization. I mean, that's a very, very aggressive plan there. I mean, it's cheaper than going to the emergency room, guys. And you're paying. Make ER paying a hundred bucks if you're admitted in the hospital, paying 50 bucks, man. Very aggressive. So make sure you're looking at that whole aspect of it. But as I was saying earlier, you see basically these benefits all the way across the line. Drugs on that, very aggressive on, on, on this plan. Again, no deductibles, but you see very aggressive, uh, you know, co-payments and tiering basically with our medications for certain, for certain. Talk a little bit about, about more about drugs here in a benefit. But let's stick on that premium plan. Let's stick on that $200 premium plan for, for a little bit of time here. You know, why would somebody buy that plan? What, 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 would, what, would, what would be the reason for that? Hey, you're currently on a med sub. Due to some medical issues, unable to basically pass that underwriting, move to a different one. You know, you're getting this, this plan isn't really working for me. Hey, if all your physicians are working in that network, boom. $2,400 a year 
a lot of times that's not much. Not when you're on a med sub and it's covering your PDP premium and it's there's no deductible in that scenario and you're getting all those value added benefits. I can keep going down bullet after bullet after bullet regarding this slide. All right. That's the basically situation that you need to be heads up on. We're seeing a little bit more traction of this. I'm also seeing more carriers have plans that are similar in this scenario. All right. John talked about earlier, what's the data showing? We've seen in the last couple of years, MedSup, while it is definitely a solution for a lot of folks, and as John talked about, treat these people like your family. I always say, right person, right product, right plan. Maybe the MedSup is the best plan for that individual. All right. We need to truly understand what's valuable to that individual. But at the end of the day, we are still seeing some decline basically on our med sup where we're seeing that Medicare Advantage kind of hop up a little bit more in the last couple of years. It used to be really even Stephen back in the day. We saw you know people aging in about 50 50 was what the deal was there. Seeing a little bit of movement in that scenario. And plans like this are certainly making a difference with those folks. Right. So all in all great opportunity out there, a very unique opportunity. I constantly am looking for what I call a USP, a unique selling point. Why is this plan special? How is this any different than anybody else? And I ask you as an agent, how are you any different? There's tons of licensed, certified, appointed agents out there that even have a, a chance to talk to Mr. Mr. John Duboss, right? But at the end of the day, what are you doing that's different? What are you doing that makes you, what's your unique selling point, right? So let's keep going here on the, what, what I have here is just a list of the different vendors that we work with. We have that embedded telehealth there. We use MD Live. Our hearing vendor basically is True Hearing. Talk a little bit more in the next slide regarding DentaQuest. We most certainly have Mom's Meals. And Silver Sneakers is, is certainly part of the suite of value added benefits that we have for all of our members on all of our plans. So DentaQuest, all right, that's our vendor. We've got two different riders on this. We have embedded dental. But if you want to buy up into a rider, HMOs $25 monthly, PPOs $26. All right. Honestly, I'm going to work on leveling that out for this next year. We're actually already starting bid to conversation and, and digging into that kind of research basically for 2023. But $25 a month on your HMO plans, $26 on your PPO plans. That's right. That's not a misprint. Mr. Dubois proofed all this also. But bottom line is $7,500 annual benefit maximum. Is there a deductible? Uh-uh, there's not. Is there a waiting period? Nope. Do we cover basically dentures and implants? Oh, yeah, we do. One of the most aggressive plans out there on a straight MAPD, non-SNP plan, non-special needs plan, non-chronic, non-dual plan, non-institutional plan, basically is, is what you're looking at right now. $7,500. This right here is one of the biggest reasons or unique selling points that this plan has. And I think it's something you certainly need to look at and understand going into a conversation, virtual, in-person, in-home, community meeting, what have you, is people are looking for this type of assistance out there. And Care and Care is bringing it to this local market. What sets us apart? Let's talk about these drugs. I mentioned it in a, in a bit of a high level just a little bit ago, right? You got your tier one drugs, basically have got coverage on all of our MAPD plans. So out of the six plans that we have, five of them have drugs, those five plans, basically tier one drugs all the way through it. Getting close to that gap coverage, right? COPD inhalers, certain COPD inhalers basically selected, basically, Hey, they got the coverage through the gap, along with certain insulins, basically, are on that SABER program that have that coverage through the gap. If you go out there, don't just listen to Steve. Don't just listen to John. This one time, don't listen to John, right? Go to Medicare.gov. This isn't just me talking about it. According to Medicare.gov, Care and Care offers a substantial saving compared to the carriers. Pop our drugs in there on the calculator, and you're gonna see us bubble up very, very close to the top if we aren't at the top in nearly every scenario you run into out there, all right? This is not just me saying it, not a sales guy, not basically that awesome John Dubois resource that we all lean into, right? This is Medicare. This is the federal government that's showing where we're at there. So this isn't just me being slick willy with you. 
go out there, check it out. Next time you're out in front of somebody, check out that care and care out there. So all in all, one of the things that we're working on with you guys um, or that we have this, this year that we didn't have last year is we have two of the quoting platforms out there. Uh, we're also working with Integrity, basically. Um, I'm going to ask John, I hope I'm not putting you on the spot, John. I think you have this in the deck and I dropped it out by mistake. But we're working with Connection Sunfire and then Integrity has Medicare application. What, what's the name of that, John? Medicare Center. Medicare yes, Center. Care and Care is in both of the quoting tools for the Medicare Advantage products um, and is available now. Yep, that's right. That's right. And I just really can't thank you. I think basically our audience, I think basically if you're seeing this today, if you're seeing this basically a month from now, two weeks, but I really lean into to Mr. John Dubas. I thank you, John, for basically this opportunity to have me basically give me an opportunity to work with you in any kind of capacity that I can support your agents, support the organization. I just appreciate the partnership that we have, um, you know, for, for the many, many years that we talk about and then most certainly for opportunities such as we have here this morning. But John, I'm gonna pass it back over to you unless there's anything else that you think that I missed. Well, I'm gonna check on questions. It doesn't appear that we have any that you haven't answered, but a couple of things I wanna throw at you really quickly <laughs> is one, the diversity of the product line really gives a great advantage to folks that are asking for feedback from their prospects and clients in North Texas as to the real value of these plans. And with your very condensed MOOP uh, and the other benefits that come with it and the formulary and drug programs that you have that are integrated into your MA programs, I mean, I, I it's not just because we're friends, Steve, it's an awesome product. And I yeah. really, product portfolio, and I really want to congratulate you on that and the influence that you've had. But one yeah. thing I want to throw out there too on your $200 plan, Yep. It's not a lot different in structure from a a, a a prescription drug, or pardon me, a Medicare supplement plan. That's a select plan, and where sure. the programs have to. I mean, the 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 policyholders have to go to a specific hospital for a planned procedure, and many agents are familiar with how that works. And this, in my mind, really echoes that to a great degree, because hey emergency care they're going to take you in there as hospital anyway and then they're going to deal with things much as they would on a medicare supplement um, select plan but yep. the portfolio altogether really gives us a lot of opportunity to work with a premier health care provider in addition to a premier um, plan medicare advantage plan not to overbeat the the premier aspect of this but it really does a lot of nice things for us and it gives us an opportunity to work with different marketing programs that we have in play here at Premier Marketing, including one that we'll discuss at one o'clock with working with providers. And so what you'll see as part of the follow-up to today's presentation is not only the recording from Steve that we have here, but also then with the, um, pardon me for just a moment here, I hit the wrong button as usual. There we go. Um, it gives us an opportunity to work at different types of marketing programs to get you in front of people to discuss these programs. And I think that's also important because a lot of times when you work with some of the regional carriers, or at least our experience has been with that across the country, is you don't always have that advantage in play where you have a limited amount of community resources out there for you different programs to get you in front of folks that not only need the coverage, but are eligible for it and are able to enroll. That's why we beat the SEPs to death much earlier in today's presentation. So thank you, Steve, as well. And I'll send you a check for all the kind words as soon as we get off the presentation. So one of the things we wanna talk about, some of the things we wanna talk about is why you would want to offer care and care with us here at Premier Marketing. Well, one of the things we do is we enable you to create an agent profile shoot through the uh, program called Surance Bay, where you can put all your detail together, sort house your errors and admissions, ask the questions that you see with some of the um, standard uh, appointments for different carriers, 
Um, we use this a lot in the dental vision hearing air, uh, area, but you'll notice during Steve's presentation with the optional dental coverage that comes as an option with Care and Care, man, that's brilliantly hard to beat. Uh, that high of a level, the waiting periods, all the different pieces that make it so valuable to folks that really need that coverage. And I am not one that advocates you enrolling in a person for one particular benefit. Steve and I saw that with well, whoops, with another carrier before MIPA came into play, where they'd go in and speak about one benefit, disenroll them for everything else and not discuss it. And hey, we weren't our brother's keepers back then, and so it cost us all. This program will allow you to add on additional coverages should they be necessary with programs wherever they happen to be. We do offer discounted E&O for qualified agents. Well, what's errors and admissions for a qualified agent? What makes you a qualified agent? You got a contract with us. But this is a program, unlike some, where you're being added to a blanket E&O policy for just one plan. This is something you own. It includes variable products, and it takes care of that requirement that the vast majority of insurance programs require of you as you contract. Great, great value for you. We do also offer discounted continuing education programs through our affiliation with WebCE in order to keep your license in play. And you can add to your own benefit package through a modified guarantee issued GI program, it's a, pardon me, disability income program, where you earn a commission on a product you're selling yourself. Much as where today's presentation is being recorded, other presentations in the past have been as well. And as I mentioned earlier, you can find them on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well. So you're able to access not only particulars about a carrier and a program, much as what we've discussed today, but also different marketing techniques to get you in front of people that can help you sell them. And one of them is, utilizing presentations for folks that don't respond to some of the traditional marketing outreach. Mailers, TV, websites, nah, whatever it happens to be. Well, faith-based organizations is a great way for you to do a presentation live or virtually. And we have programs that can help you lay that out in front of that audience as well. As Steve mentioned before, Care and Care is available as part of our Medicare Center program, which is available without cost to our contracted agents. Note that I'm an old MA guy, and I still say without cost instead of free. I have a hard time with that F word. Um, some of the others, not so much, unfortunately. But it is a program with a universal login for three different quoting engines that are powered by Connecture, Sunfire, and CSG, a great tool that will help you with heat maps as well. So it'll show you in different counties what's the hot product and what you need to be prepared to offer or work against. A link to that little presentation will come to you as well. What's really important too is this enables you to market compliantly yet efficiently by obtaining those scopes of appointment by text, by email, by a multitude of different ways and storing them for that 10 year period if you sell them or not. It does also have a CRM for you to work with and stay with your book of business, be it uh, enrollees or for folks that you didn't sell. And there's also a resource tab in there that will help you with scripts and other pieces that come into play. We're happy that uh, Care and Care is part of uh, the options that you have in those systems. And there's also an opportunity here that gives you a great way to cross sell. In the CSG tool, you can designate a particular carrier and the benefit plans that someone has in play now. And if the folks are really satisfied with that, they don't want to change, but they have hospital co-pays, well, you can do a hospital indemnity program to add to that coverage and make certain that you take care of them in that regard, opening yourself up for all kinds of cross-selling opportunities. MA and PDP programs are a little bit different in the fact that their maximum compensation is set by the government. Most carriers lay that out for you up front, as Care and Care does. But there may be other programs out there that do offer different incentives that help you qualify for carrier trips and help you qualify for premier incentive programs as well. We have a specific page on our website that will help you 
with finding what programs come into play and how you can benefit from it. We mentioned we want to put you in front of folks to help you sell. And that includes a contact list ordered for you, but it up against do not call for you to reach out to people. Keep in mind, can't use that for MA or PDP programs, but you can for MedSup. You can use it for dental programs. We saw, see a lot of people at 63 and a half or 64 reach out with a dental program, a fee for service program that pays on top of any other coverage that a person has and is kind of a tool that helps close as well because many of them have rates that go up at 65. So you can do some different things in order to take advantage of that contact list, which is available to you at a discounted price or depending upon a contracting arrangement, no, no cost to you at all. We also offer, as I mentioned, different community-based marketing programs, including how you work with retail marketing in North Texas. If you don't have care and care in your pocket and you've worked retail, no matter how you do it with Walmart or whatever, we wanna make certain that you are taking advantage of one of the stronger programs in this area uh, in a retail setting. And some of these initiatives have continued on. Kroger's is still a viable option for folks throughout the year. I mentioned already working presentations through the faith-based organizations that you may be part of or familiar with and utilizing these programs to work with providers. Now, keep in mind providers go beyond doctors, they include hospitals, specialists, dentists, anyone who bills Medicare in a standard situation and creating arrangements with them. That's the webinar at one that we have and you will receive a link to that recording as part of the follow-up today too. Many carriers do offer generated prospects on their behalf, and that is a symbiotic relationship that you develop with that particular carrier. Don't go to an MA carrier and say, hey, what do you got for me? And you've given them nothing. Keep in mind, it has to be, you scratch my back, I'm gonna scratch yours, but it's a great way to get in front of prospects that they've generated, as long as you have that symbiotic relationship. We do have internet lead programs and direct mail support. We offer a great T65 locator and I think an innovative referral program that helps you clone the one lead that you come into and work across the board for additional people to speak with based off of that one lead. We'll discuss them in a minute. So it's important to note too that you wanna work with multiple ways of getting to folks and don't put all your eggs in one basket. So let's look at that co-op program based on production for health-based programs and a second program for folks that are working final expense. They are production-based, but they cut the cost of that direct mail program so you can do it consistently. Keep in mind, that's kind of like an exercise program. You looked at me going, what are you talking about exercise programs for, Dubas? You need one. Well, if you do it once, you feel the pain, you don't see a lot of the benefit. If you do it consistently, you're gonna get greater value out of it and it builds upon each other. And we work through vetted lead vendors in order to make certain that the experience is maximized for you, the returns are maximized for you, and that what is sent out is compliant. So we vet all these companies to do it and each of them offer you a CRM program within their systems to make certain that you can reach out to these people as quickly as possible and reach them when they are hot. If your budget does not allow you to do a complete mail campaign, we don't also have a system that allows you to purchase direct mail responses that have never been touched at our warm that are designated by area as to what the cost will be and how that will vary because it does vary from area to area um, and programs that you are looking for. They have added a Medicare Advantage program into this as well. And so that's available to you across the board. The Facebook program is our internet lead program and you have a program in play for final expense and Medicare. Because this deals with the internet, much of the outreach in the Medicare world is pointed at reviews and Medicare supplements. You do that correctly and make certain that you follow a path to do it compliantly you can make certain that that is for the entire Medicare portfolio and take advantage of that as well. That T65 locator, well, that's something you download on your smartphone at no cost when you have a contract with us. And it actually designates in a particular area, depending upon the parameters that you set for it, 
and I mean that by a distance from a particular site, and it tells you people that are turning 65 in that area. So it's a great way for folks that are door knockers, and you can do that for some products. Please, by God, don't do that for MA or PDP programs, but you can for MedSup, you can for Final Expense, you can for dental programs. So it may be a way for you to maximize your time, get the most out of it, but do so compliantly. Now, that referral program that I mentioned as well applies not just to the folks that are in your sales funnel, those that you've sold or that you're selling. This also is an opportunity to go back to your book of business and visit with them about their needs and mine with, from them the folks that they may be able to send to you as prospects as well. So that link will come to you as part of the follow-up too. All this said and done, we do all this simply because we want your business as well. We want to earn your business. We have some folks in North Fork, Nebraska that are awesome, that can really help you walk through an entire system and see how you can create a system or augment what you are already doing. So, hey, we want your business and we want to be referable to you as well to other agents. So, this is something that we find so valuable. That is something that you need to add to your marketing program now. You have to wait for a particular point in time. No, nah, if you've got some of your certification, you've got certifications done for extra carriers, it's easy to bundle on Care and Care and add to their um, process to make certain that you are certified. You look at that and you move forward. This is a great way for me to bring about my great line from. John Wayne in the Cowboys. They slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up and ride because we're burning daylight. Don't burn any more daylight. Let this roll and let it work and let it be a part of what you're offering to your prospects and clients and do the best for those individuals that we serve. So all that said and done, thankfully, since my throat is growing a bit scratchy, let's check and see if there are questions, and Steve, we have one that popped up that says, how does the PPO work with MD Anderson that says they will not allow anyone in the door with an MAPD plan? They say they only take med subs. So bottom line is, uh, that would be something, I have seen it happen. I have seen it happen, but you would want to definitely do your pre-authorization prior in that scenario. Uh, again, I have seen basically MD Anderson work with our choice plan and that premium plan for certain, for certain. So that can be part of your network. I will say this as well. We hear a lot about MD Anderson. We hear a lot about um, Sloan Kettering in New York, the Mayo Clinic, uh, major institutions across the country. One of the things that I would suggest to you as well is if you have a person that's looking to utilize that sort of system, I think you're going to find a ton of people in this network with Care and Care that may have done their training at those locations as well. And you'll see that a major hospital system, such as what we're talking about today, has many of the same tools and ways of approaching treating cancer as MA, MD Anderson and other places. And I can speak to this personally. As a person who's battling cancer, you have the opportunity to access those folks. It may take a step just to see where the oncologists have trained, but I gotta tell you, when I did my stem cell transplant at UT Southwestern four years ago, Thanksgiving, you cannot find a better facility anywhere in the country. And while I have only gone to Europe a couple of times into the a southeastern part of the, the world, I, I will wager to say anywhere in the world. So do not let that concern be of a huge stumbling block for you. And as you explain that process to your prospects and clients, I think that you can easily overcome it. And I think, Steve, that's the only question that we have. So I want to urge people to reach out to us here at Premier at 1-800-365-8208. Visit with us about the opportunities with Care and Care. Keep in mind, if you are working with a, a agent success manager, a marketer with our organization, they're gonna help you with care and care. If you do not have a relationship with us and look to create one, dial in, they're gonna set you up with a subject matter expert 
and we'll get you taken care of as well. For those of you that have done business with us in the past, I sincerely thank you for that business. For those of you that are considering it in the future, I thank you for that opportunity as well. But today, I really want to thank you for the use of your most valuable asset, and that's your time. You spent some time with us today, and I thank you for that. Watch also for the follow-up with all those links I've been promising. You'll have that, and you can respond to that as well. They'll come back to me, and I'll make certain that we set you up with a person that can maximize your potential and maximize the opportunity you have with Care and Care in North Texas. All that said and done, I want to thank you sincerely, my friend Steve, for your presentation today. Um, I also want to thank once again everyone who's attended. And until we're able to visit again, I wish you good selling. Thanks so very much. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, John.